Sherry L. Du said this about life. Indeed, this life is a test. It is a test of many things, of our convictions and our priorities, of faith and our faithfulness, our patience, our resilience, and in the end, our ultimate desires. Welcome to Makamba Life with me, James Makamba. Hi, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Makamba Life. We've all heard of uh, hacking, cyberbullying, cyber... Cyber what? Cyberspace. Cyberspace <laughs> technology. We've heard all kinds of technology, you know, these days. Today, we're going to talk to a man who is in tune, you know, with all that. His name is Jackson Nicholas Chindoa. His title is director of a company called OB Digital. Did I get it right? Yes, you did. Welcome to Thank Makamba you. Life. Thank you, Dr. James. Have you watched any of us uh, episodes? Yes, I did. Uh, we, a few times. A few times. Yeah. Anyone which you enjoyed in particular? Um, I think I enjoyed your dances with Knox. <laughs> <laughs> with Knox. Yes. A lot of people you know, wrote in to, uh, to say that we should bring him back like we've done with uh, Mutuma Mawere for uh, an extended version. Yes, Good. yes, yes. Tell me, who is OB Digital? Um, OB Digital is a company which is involved in digital marketing. Mm -hmm. And digital marketing in the broad sense is selling of your goods and services in the digital space. But uh, in, in the digital space, it's measurable uh, sales of your goods and services in the digital space. So it's actually based on results. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we hear these days that there are ministries of uh, ICT. What is ICT? Um, in the broad sense, it's information communication technologies. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a broad sense to, to encompass computers, how to use computers, and how co to use that technology uh, to, for people to communicate. Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea, <clears throat> if you look at uh, maybe Africa, okay, yes. the percentage of, um, of people, if you say Africa is a billion people, how many of this billion have embraced uh, modern day technology? Um, mobile technology, um, as in mobile phones, they have actually simplified um, people actually entering into the digital space. So I would like to think more than half of the population is now actually digitally connected in Africa. And um, anything computer related, you know, generally? Um, computers, obviously computers are now being replaced by cell phones because most of the features of what you can do on your computer, you can now do it on your mobile devices, your computers, your laptops and uh, your tablets. We are talking to digital marketer, director of OB Digital, Jackson Nicholas Chindoa. We'll be back. Welcome back to Makamba Life, where we're talking to, as I said before, the director of OB Digital, Jackson Chindoa. I'm resting Nicholas for, for a while. <laughs> ah, was a, was a Nicholas your grandfather? No, it's a baptism uh, name. Name? Yeah. Salvation Army? No, Roman mm. Catholic. Deremia Secula Seculorum. Are you? Of course. Dominus for Pisco. Okay. Remember, I tried to, I was going to uh, to become, you know, father until mom objected. Oh, okay, okay. There you are. So Un understandable. So you must kind of treat me with uh, more, more what? More respect and honor. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me something. You market, your title is, uh, you said you market, but I'm aware of the fact that you also create you create websites yes, I do. and market websites yes, I do. and run websites. Yes. What is that aspect of your, of your career called? Um, it's called web development. Uh, digital marketing has got many channels. So when you market your product online, you either market on the web or you either market through other channels like SMS, like MMS. Uh, those are the offline channels, but it's still digital marketing. But when you're focusing mainly on the website, uh, that's web development. When you are focusing on the website channel, 
you optimize that particular website for it to rank higher on the internet. That's what we call search engine optimization, ranking, having your website to rank higher on the internet. So the, the creation itself of a website, yes. do, you, do you sit down, look at a client or their product and become creative and go and sell something to them? Or do you get a brief from a client of the kind of website that you know, they want, what it should you know, reflect, what it should achieve, um, and as a result of that brief, you go away and create something? Uh, definitely, you first of all get a brief uh, from the client, but also you have to get yourself to the standpoint of the client itself. What does the person want to achieve by having a website? Does he want to increase sales? Does he want to increase his brand visibility online? And from that standpoint, you can now work from that to actually create the product which is going to achieve that particular objective. And how long have you been doing this? Um, since 2002, so which makes it uh, 14 years, I think. When we come back, we talk about education and family. You're watching Makamba Live. We're back with uh, Mr. Chindor. I almost said Professor Chindor. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day. Okay, okay. Hopefully. Now tell me about um, who, who, where do you come from? Where were you born? Where did you go to school? Where did you attend university? And then you can slide into children and wife, wives. Okay, I was, um, I was born in 1979, which makes me 38 this year. Young man. Is which it? month? Uh, November. So we are here to celebrate. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I need a new suit. <laughs> yeah. I born and grew up in Harare mm -hmm. um, and then uh, attended university in Bindura, Bindura University ah, of Science Education. I was once uh, the town board chairman of Bindura. And the mayor which, as which, well. Yes, which, is now, <laughs> which is now the mayor and the provincial chairman of uh, the ruling party for, uh, for that province of Mashonal and Central. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay, and um, discoveries and eh? some things you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the yeah. cyberspace. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and um, from then so on. So at Bindura University, you you studied what? What did you graduate? I, I actually studied um, mathematics and biology. Wow. Yes. Nothing to do with cyberspace. No, nothing to do with this. But that's where the interest started. Yes, that's that's when I that's where I actually started. Uh, Developing websites. Um, whilst you were a student? Yes, whilst, mm -hmm. whilst I was a student. Who then. was the chancellor then? Um, it was, I think, uh, the vice chancellor. Ch sorry, the yeah. chancellor is the always, chancellor is always the president. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, and the it vice was uh, Professor Chikomba. I Chikomba, think. yes, it was Chikomba. Yes. It was Chikomba, all right. And um, it's very interesting, you know, the that time when I held these positions and our governor was uh, the late Bodagesi. Yes, yes. And we had you know, uh, officials, <clears throat> some high-ranking officials like the late Elliot Manyika, yes. uh, Comrade Nicholas Goche, yes. um, and we, we work together. Comrade Jason Mujuru. Mujuru, yes. yes. Um, we work together very hard to have the, the Bindura University, you know, established. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Not knowing that one day I would sit and talk to your former student who now lives in the space. Yes, yes, yes. So we were, So you graduate from Bindura University, then what happens? We, we were actually the first official graduates of Bindura University. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a matter very close to my heart. <laughs> home, home, home. Exactly. You know what they say, you may go north, you may go south, you may go west, you may go east, but home is best. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So you leave Bindura now. What happens? I leave Bindura. Um, then I actually briefly worked uh, at the university, doing IT as well, doing websites. Mm -hmm. um, actually, doing the university website. Mm -hmm. And um, I moved to Arari, which is home. I briefly worked for a year as a web developer for um, a design house in Arari, and uh, I um, emigrated to Swaziland. Um, where I worked for a company called Real Image Internet, an internet company based um, in, in, in Swaziland. 
And from then on, I moved to South Africa in 2010. 2010, you moved to South Africa? Yes, 2010, I moved to South Africa. We, you're watching Makamba Life. We'll be back with the South African experience for Jackson Chindor. Welcome back to Makamba Life. So, you now move to, from the kingdom. Yes. The mountain kingdom of Swaziland to South yes. Africa. Yes. What yes. happens then? Um, I actually worked for, um, I think, four different companies, uh, again, in the cyberspace industry. Mm -hmm. But already I had uh, started developing mobile applications which do in uh, um, financial products. So uh, that actually gave me... Um, What's the word to use? The confidence to work for yourself? Um, do I call it the confidence? It gave me the... The experience? Yeah, it gave me the experience for me to actually start working on, um, on my own. So you become your own boss in when, 2012? In 2012. 2012, yes. yes. Uh -huh. um, was that the creation of uh, OB? Yes, that was the creation of OB Digital mm. uh, in 2012. Um, but digital marketing, I started specifically fo focusing on, on it in 2014. Mm. That's when um, most companies now have websites, but uh, websites are not working for them. So I'm now mainly focusing on uh, having the websites work for the people online. Not the companies? Not for the companies. People have websites, but the, website, uh, the websites don't bring in leads. Or anything so my company helps you to achieve your goals on the internet Jackson Chindowa is director of OB digital we're chatting to him on Makamba life now tell me trends you worked in Swaziland and South Africa I know you do work in Zimbabwe you do work in Nigeria and Kenya in many parts of Africa the trends how different are they the requirements of, uh, of Zimbabwe, the requirements of Kenya, um, are the trends the same? The trend or is there a twitch or a bias, um, you know, towards each market? Um, the trends are definitely um, different. Mainly, obviously, focused on uh, the penetration of the internet uh, in all these different markets. In the other African markets, the internet has obviously not yet uh, penetrated deeper. So you see that most people, um, they still have a fear of uh, buying online. So uh, there's been a lot of fraud. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the last, um, as you know, I, I, I belong to uh, part of my activity is, um, <clears throat> is the more, more, more bio uh, cellular you know, technology, yes. uh, telephony. We offer you know, telephone service. Um, and every year we gather in Barcelona, um, you know, to talk, to listen to the latest trends, to review the industry. Uh, I think the last figure which was given when I attended was uh, close to four billion of, um, you know, the amount of money lost to mobile, you know, operators through all kinds of, uh, you know, hacking. Precisely. Precisely. Duplication of lines, etc., etc. Precisely. Yeah, you, you were talking about trends. The challenges that each market faces. Definitely. Is it uniform or is it different? It's it's definitely um, different. Um, I was talking, for instance, about internet uh, penetrations, and also you see that um, in certain markets there are certain trends which haven't been accepted than other markets. For instance. Um, People in Africa only started accepting Twitter, for instance, in recent years, but mm -hmm. it has been there um, for the past 10 years. Uh, people only started accepting Snapchat, for instance, over the past year or two. Um, but it has been there um, over time, but it's been considered as a youth novelty. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been there. It would appear that uh, yeah. Instagram and uh, WhatsApp are, are the the ones that are commonly accepted. Is there a reason behind that? It's actually Facebook and Twitter. Yes, Facebook, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Is there a reason behind that? Um, I think people just accepted uh, Facebook earlier. Uh, people understood Facebook earlier than, um, Twitter. Or the other, yeah, than, than Twitter 
and so forth. And Facebook has been innovative over the years. Uh, they've been changing platforms, they've been changing their technologies, they've been changing the way they do. Mm. Yeah. So the, the, you were talking about penetration. Penetration is really regulated by the amount of infrastructure that yes. uh, the operators or you know government is willing to put in. Definitely. Um, I've been to places now where you you have a free Wi-Fi at you know at public areas like the airport, yes. uh, shopping malls, uh, hospitals, and so on. Who pays for that? Um, ideally, it should be the government, but uh, which hasn't been the case. It's actually internet companies which uh, actually do pay for, for, for these services. In a way, they'll be pushing their brand. Mm. Um, and they'll actually be collecting information. Um, you know, when you sign up for, for that free internet, you put in your email address and your uh, cell phone number, which they, they, they sell that data, which is again another form of uh, For them recouping their, their yes. expenses. Yes. yes. OK? Yes. Trends, which, which way do you think this uh, you know, digital market is headed? Um, the, the sky is the limit. Um, it's, it's been growing exponentially over the past two years. And um, like for instance, as I was mentioning, mentioning just now that um, it's going towards mobile. Everything is now focused towards mobile, like all the apps which we develop. You right can now. hang on your phone. Yes. You can send messages. You can receive messages. Yes. Uh, recently, uh, I was in a in a certain country. You can pay for your your shopping, your groceries. You know, by your mobile. By phone. mobile yeah. phone. Yes. Have yes. I left anything out? Yes, out. Um, you have maps on your phone. Mm. You yeah. You have Uber on your cell phone. Yes. And so forth. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. We're talking to Jackson Chindoa on Makamba Life. We're talking to Jackson Nicholas Chindoa on Makamba Life. Now, I have to ask you yes. about uh, family life. Yes. Can you tell us where, 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 how many you are in your family? Are you married? Do you have children? What do you teach them, if at all you have any children? What does your wife do? What kind of a woman marries? such a you know a techno giant um i'm married to martha chindoa uh, she's watching she's watching <laughs> yes hello <laughs> where is she watching here all day <laughs> hello martha hello mrs chindoa <laughs> uh we've got two boys um what are their names tatenda and uh, tawan okay yes okay. and um, hello tatenda <laughs> Um, we've been married for uh, six years now. Long time. Very long time. Because uh, in one of the African countries, the statistics say 50% uh, of marriages break up in the first five years. So well done. You're doing well. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you have brothers? Yeah, I come from uh, my mother's side. I have a sister and a brother. And you're on your father's side? On my father's side, I again have a sister and a brother. And what does Mrs. Chindoa do? Uh, Mrs. Chindoa is actually on the business side of OB Digital. So uh, she does the, the billing, the collection of money? Um, a new business development. New business so development. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Good. I have to ask Jackson something that he must impart to our viewers. He must share with you viewers. What is it? that you have learned about life. Tell us about life. Tell us about your life philosophy. Tell the viewers. OK, um, I believe uh, you only live once. And you should be yourself. Be yourself. Uh, don't be someone else. You're not living someone else's life. You're living your life. This life is not your yourself. It's actually the life itself. Jackson, it's been such a pleasure to have you on Makamba Life. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching this very interesting episode with uh, the MD, managing director. <laughs> he's director. He's very humble. He calls himself director only. But I know he's the managing director of OB Digital, Jackson Nicholas Chindoa. We'll see you next week with another episode of Makamba Life. Thank you. Thank you.